On this episode, we announce a special series on how to get an engineering job so you can dodge millennial stereotypes like Neo from The Matrix. What's up everyone, this is Jake Voorhees and you are watching episode 5 of the 1% Engineer Show. But first, an announcement. Today we're kicking off a 10 part series. This series focuses on the top 10 things you can do to ensure you have a job before graduation. So if you enjoy things that are not living at home with your parents and hating your job selling coffee, then this series is for you. Today in episode 5, we're going to talk about how to make a great resume. Here we are with my crappy resume as an anti-example. Don't make your resume look like this. My resume sucks. I've been out of the job hunting game for over five years, so it could use some sprucing up. Here's three ways that you can have a special resume so that you can stand out and at least get the job interview so you can prove yourself and use the stuff I taught in episode four. Way number one, be relevant. Cater your resume exactly to the position that you're applying for in this instance. If you apply to many jobs that all have different criteria to be selected, then you should have lots of different resumes for these different positions. All the most applicable items on your resume should be highlighted, emphasized, and in a higher order than the things that are not applicable to that specific position. Remember, resumes are not a chronology of events. They are a hierarchy of experiences that you have accumulated which make you marketable for this position. That's what a resume is for, to market you as a professional. For example, if you're applying to a bridge job, you better emphasize that design build firm that you worked for last summer. Otherwise, you're gonna get dropped for the kid who went to science camp every year because they couldn't get past line four on your crappy resume. Number two, quantify value. Quantify your experience and skills. Engineers love numbers, you know this. If you are a TA or a grader in college, how many students were you responsible for? If you helped out in a massive engineering project while interning, what was the budget of that project? How many housing plots did you design during that internship two years ago? Things like this quantify your value. Put numbers behind the attributes that you're selling for yourself. And finally, item number three for a great resume, have a good design. Don't make your resume look like mine. Engineers are notorious for crappy looking resumes. So take some time to look at resumes in creative fields, people's resumes who are not boring, who are not techie in engineering. So you can add some flavor to yours, so you can highlight yourself in the stack of resumes, and so you actually have a chance to get selected for the job interview. So again guys, the top three ways that you can have a great resume are be relevant, quantify value, and have a great design. We'd love to see what your resume looks like, so please email us and ask any advice on your next job application. Question of the day, what is your dream job? Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys. Stay tuned for episode six, where we continue on the top 10 tips to getting an engineering job. Have a great day and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.